welcome to the Irk side of the moon. I am your captain, Irk. Um, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be starting a brand new campaign on Kerbal with the goal of landing on the moon. Um, what you'll discover is I am not that good at this game. Absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. I'm just not that good. So if you're here to watch someone who's going to be you know, brilliant and give you all sorts of enlightenment when it comes to Kerbal, you might want to save your time because this is going to be full of disaster and catastrophe and just fucking hilarious mistakes everywhere. So with that as the baseline, here we're going to go. So have toyed around with the campaign a little bit or the career mode just a little bit. To the moon. And we're going to start. Um, I've done this a little bit in the past, and it did not go the greatest. Because I was not great. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide to this quick introduction. This is Space Center. Okay, this is just general stuff. Sorry, I tend to not be a fan of tutorials tutorials unless it's incredibly complex and that was not something I needed. Vehicle assembly. I know the basics of this. Thank you though. Buggy eyed dude. Also now since Rick and Morty's a thing these guys kind of remind me of Mr. Poopy Butthole. Okay so we're going to take that. That's the only one we get. So we're going to take it. Um, fuel tanks, engines, command and control. Let's see, is there any sciencey stuff? No, no sciencey stuff. No science. Ah, there we go. Okay, we do have sciencey stuff. That's what we need. Well, that fuel booster. Okay, did I jump the gun? Because I don't have shit. Let's go back to the station. I, I didn't do anything worth saving there. Uh, space hangar, no. Complex. Research and development. There we go. Okay, do I have any points I can spend? Um, it appears not. Okay, so... Yeah, so none of that's happening. So, that said... What I saw is what I get. So, we have, let me zoom out here, zoom out, eh, there we go. What we're going to have is that, which seems kind of weak. Because yeah, there is nothing at all else. Aerodynamics up here. We can get some fins on here, but I do have a budget, so. I'm going to put this to quad, get me four of them on there, keep her nice and straight. And their range, yeah. So we got science. But we will put a couple. Okay, I'll make this quad. Can I keep it to single? Yeah, I can at least keep it to single. So we'll put one of those guys on there. So we're going to name this guy the uh, little dude. This dude is tiny and is not going to do shit. Well, one thing to do is launch. So, unlike the sandbox mode, as you see, there is very limited amount of stuff we can use. In fact, this looks kind of shitty here. Wow. I guess I had to kind of develop that too. So, um, you have to get up into space or somewhere and just do these little experiments on this. You can observe mystery goo and it gives you science points. Oop, don't want to do that. But the, in different areas, it'll give you more. So like low atmosphere will give me so much. Actually in orbit, it'll give me so much science points. And then as long as I recover that or transmit the data back, I get that. And that's how you unlock stuff. So have that on max. I don't know how much it's going to help because I don't think those fins bend. But let's see what we do. Holy shit. 
So... Oh! Oh! Fuck! Fuck! I had my parachute out. So, um... Good news. I didn't crash. Bad news. Parachutes do not help you take off. So let's see if I can observe the goo. Yeah. Okay. So I get some science points here. Actually, what, did, what was the description of that? Review data. Observation while flying at Kerbin. Goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Okay. Resume flight. Ah, I keep hitting escape to get out of stuff. So just keep experiment. Okay. So that's going to be a really slow descent. So let's fast forward just a tad. Do, 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 do. And they really need to let you go faster for this because this is painfully slow. Okay, but lesson learnt, and I will at least get some science points, so it's not a complete waste. And we're getting close, getting close, and I know that they said in the old one that, there we go. So. Uh, let's go to the tracking station. I should be able to, this. Um, right there. Okay, hold on. This is a tracking station facility, and here you can view the solar system as well as current positions and all trajectories of ongoing missions. When you have missions in progress, you'll see them listed at the panel on your left, and you'll be able to command the screen. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations and orbits on the surface. Those also would be visible here. Lastly, if you want to see the same map... Okay, I already know about that. Okay, so... Oh, oh. So we got this dude. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's actually something out in orbit. Okay. Kind of cool. But anyway. So this. Um, recover. Recover this. Okay. So I got some science. I got 12 science. Or 12 science. Somehow I have 15, it says. Um. Got some parts back. And my crew, yeah. You gained an experience. We're taking off with a freaking umbrella. Yeah. Um, so Je Jebediah lived because I took off with a parachute open. Rookie mistake. I did not stage my stuff. There we go gonna save it but I also want to go back and see if I have enough for some basic rocket stuff in the research and development cost five points engineering will give me thermometer what is this communications okay coupler Ooh. okay okay so this gives me solid fuel small fuel tank and a liquid okay so I want that and I also want this. Okay, so at this point, everything is well out of my range, but I have the basics. But now I can make a rocket that hopefully doesn't just completely suck, which is this little dude. Okay, so what we have is a, oh my God, a minuscule fuel tank, but this should help us get out. So one thing I do know, you can chain fuel tanks and they will work together. So that will actually work as three fuel tanks. Uh, where's my engines? Engines, engines. Engines. So here's that. So what I'm planning on doing, and we'll see how well this works, is where's my coupling? Coupling. So coupling. I put a coupler here. I can actually I'll get rid of all that right now. I don't want you. Be gone. There we go. Okay. We will go with some solid fuel. One of these. This guy looks a little yeah. Beefier. So I don't think one's gonna be enough. 
So let's go ahead and do what I like to do in Kerbal and just do stupid shit by putting way too many on. We'll try to get those all the same. So bad news is I do not have any aerodynamics. So those are just going to be fully exposed to take the impact of the wind. Um, little dude V2. Because he's still kind of shitty. But one other thing I do know is that I'm going to want another one of these at least. So that'll give me two. The reason is I can do one of these in one spot, one of, one of these at a certain elevation above Earth, and another one at a different one, and get two different research points. Which is really helpful. And also helpful is the fact that I know I am not going to make it back. Oh, actually, I don't know that, but... I'm going to put an antenna on just in case something happens where I don't think I'm going to be able to land. So, I'm going to get my staging right. Parachute last. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I have coupling. I am going to make sure that I only have to bring back the pod. Parachute will work better that way. So... I need one more stage. There we go. So, first stage is these five solid boosters. Should get me up there pretty good. A couple at the third. Fourth is my liquid fuel. Fourth is going to be my decouple. And fifth is my parachute to get back in. Say it again. It'll be 17. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just now realized that Elaz is in chat. Um, okay. So, let's get some aerodynamics on this bitch. Four fins, try to keep it straight. Save it and let's see what we got. Craft is too heavy. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, so that ain't happening. So we'll get rid of you. And we'll just put some fins on you. Where's my weights? Okay, yeah, I'm well underweight. Actually, I said, what happens if I do in threes instead of fours? Overweight. Aw, oh, barely. Yeah, there I made weight. I like it. So in other words, I don't have shit after my solid boosters are done, but solid boosters are what get you going. All four of those, decouple, boost, decouple, go. Okay. Save, and let's do it. Yes, it's even smaller, so it is a micro penis rocket. Okay, so we're going to get this going and see how this goes. This for safety. Yeah. It works really well when you don't have the damn parachute open. Also being light, holy crap, it's getting up there quick. I may have just ruined my parachute. Okay, keep that one. When I let's see, I can see what my peak orbit's gonna be. I'm going to fast forward to my peak orbit. I'm about there. I will do my other research. So, um, proto tricks. Please explain what does F5 do in this? There we go. Okay. So, 
out a map. Let's observe it up here. That's uh, going for broke. Going to try to parachute back in. Oh, quick save. Thank you. Did not realize that was quick save. Okay, so fast forwarding, going to hopefully get through the atmosphere a little bit. And then I'll put the parachute out. Actually, I should probably get rid of that right now because that would have been a bad time. Okay, parachute should deploy. And for the love of God, please open. I don't know what that red meant on it, but. Oh, shit. Okay. Oof. Yay. He's going to make it. Direct connection to Space Center. Okay. Wait. Okay. So I got to figure out what the heck I can do to get that. Okay, let's go to the tracking station. I want to bring you back. Let's recover it. Yeah, um, really don't trust my curb. So when you're out in space, you can do space walks to get more science and stuff. But as of right now, I am not comfortable with my Kerbal maneuverability skills. And I know as soon as I was to do it, he would jettison off. But, you know what? Fuck it. Going for it next time. We will send a Kerbal into orbit, probably, because I will fuck that up. Okay. So. Let's see. R&D. Ability. Survivability. And our rocketry. 23.9. That's a really weird amount. Aerodynamics. Another fin. Radial decouplers. Those are nice. Survivability. Heat shields. Okay. Two different heat shields. I'm assuming. Yeah, slightly different size. Okay. Barometer. Don't know what good that's going to do. Okay. Radio. Okay. Paneling. Ruts. Side shoots. Side shoots. Service bay. Heat resistant service bay, ideal for protecting delicate instruments and stowing small service components such as RSC tanks and batteries. Ah, fuck it. I don't like the sound of that. General construction. Where do I increase my size of the. I don't know. Poison air research. I want to make this better. Mission control. Mission control facility. All available contacts can be managed. Very nice launch sites. Okay. Space hangar. From the runway. I don't care about the runway. Also looks shitty. It may not seem like a very exciting place, but here's where decisions are made. Restaurant complex where they live. Research on what is in the administrative buildings. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. I don't care about that. So search R and D research rights. Rather than select something I don't understand, I'm gonna wait a minute for that. Don't forget to. Okay. So. Let's see, what we got for mission control. Ah, uh, actual missions to do. And they expire in certain times. What is this? 
Test newly acquired capabilities, focus survey of Kerbin, go to designated test site to gather some observational reports. Below. Okay, so that's actually super simple. Both of those are simple. Okay, so anyway, enough of that. How do I up? Oh, holy crap. This is a really, really in depth manual, it looks like. Locations, abilities, launch pad. How do I level up my launch pad? Oh, actually, I should probably get back to that real quick. Um, boop, boop, doop, doop. Ability management. Capabilities and career which can also manage upgrades, repairing facilities, and overseeing rockets. Aftermath early, right turn from runway. Awesome, so you can actually damage the facilities too. And since I have short term memory loss, facility management, okay. See what we get there. Okay. Mission mass, cost, size. I keep him there. Missile at a vessel, launch pad vessel. Uh, that automatically put me up to, yeah, that's not what I want. Not at all what I wanted. So we're going to go back to Space Center. Okay, so. There. Let's the building. One more click on this. Next, next, done. Cool. Great. We're just going to launch one anyway because I need to get up there. Let's get back to the hangar. It is not you or not the one I want to open. Auto shave, saved. Auto shaved also. Save you, okay. Crew build. Yeah, build me. Build. Oh, red. What the fuck? No, thank you. Not right now. In our mass, all that fun stuff. Contracts. Charge required but not generated. Awesome. So I can't actually use that because I don't have a battery. Because I am dumb. Okay. So my contracts say I need to take a flight crew below 1900 near that. Okay, I don't know where either of those are. Um, some tier thing. Oh, they're both there. Okay. So you're my target. So let's see how this goes.
I can't adjust my fins. Awesome. So we'll save or put that on. Take off. Okay, so I can actually adjust it a little bit. Not a whole lot, though. This is not my friend. Not my friend. Oh, fuck me. That's what happens when you don't do shit right. Wait, oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Did it count? Nope. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, I actually went over it? How the fuck did that work? Okay, either way. Let's see if I can actually, um... Let's get him out, shall we? Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Nope. Uh... Huh. That moment you went to a view you didn't expect. So yeah, let's get this over with while I try to figure out how to while I try to give everyone seizures. Nonchalant about the whole spinning in space. Yeah, um, they're um a little stupid. Kind of like me and not being able to figure out how to get out of the damn Kerbal view. Get out of that. I don't zoom in. Oh, there it was. Okay, so. So much for that. But. Upgrade cost 50,000. Can do that. Okay, so. Your mission control, not mission control, um, tracking station. We'll reclaim you. Didn't really get much out of it, yeah. Okay. But, now, what I can do... Build a bigger rocket. Because I want to go further. So, let's put this in quad mode. That would work, but we can also... Let's... Why just go for quad? And do it. Do it right, right? Yeah. This doesn't give him to crap his pants on what well. Okay. So, let's see if I can get this guy out there. That's it. Yeah, I've got to do something about that. We're just going to revert that. It's a vehicle assembly. We're not going to worry about that. Because... So, I got a good stage to start off. However... Oh, didn't mean that. I need more fuel. Much, much more fuel. Because that's really, really weak. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll do one more. What the hell? So hopefully this will give me a little more. And it looks like it also put me... No, it didn't put me overweight. What's, what's it going on about parts? Oh, I have one too many parts. Okay, so I'm coming back in the atmosphere. So that antenna can go shove it. Let's see if I can... And you. You're gone. Okay. So there you go, DLS. There's your rocket penis. Okay. So let's give this another go, shall we? And hopefully get out deep enough this time to do a little more science and then actually build a more advanced rocket. Because that looks shitty. thousands when I'm wanting. That's my target. Okay. 100,000's hit. So now, um, if I remember this right, when I get to the peak of this, I should be able to hit the tangent of my velocity, which should be the green dude, and expand the backside of my um, orbit. It said I haven't done this in a while, so we'll see. Oh, well, hello there, music. Okay, yeah, I'm out in deep space. Oh, shit, that was quick. Okay. So at this point, if I go over this way, I lock you in right there. Please go back. I should be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Expand my orbit. Uh, how much do I have left here? That's it. That's all she wrote. So. So much for actually getting into orbit. Not quite enough fuel, but I can get some really cool science off this. Cancel. I want to keep that. History goo. I keep that too. Get some extra little research in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so. Cannot disembark while off curving surface. Astronaut complex upgrade required. Oh, so I can't get him to spacewalk yet. Jerk. Well. That said, let's get you falling back to Earth. And then I can... I don't know. This is no man's sky. No. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Holy shit, I'm about to lose it. Oh. Well, fuck me. How he lived, I'm not sure. Well, lesson learned. Need some heat shields. Oh, wow, I'm nowhere near. That water is really misleading. Well, that sucks. 
Yes, I completely forgot the heat shield and lost all of my science because I am shitty. Okay. And this dude is falling slow. Super slow. Okay. Tracking station. Let's recover this dude. Am I gonna get anything for him being in orbit? Yeah, a little bit. All right, let's go to R and D. I got some points. General rocketry, better engine, better fuel tank. Hell of a lot better booster. Ability. That's exactly how much I have. Radio decouplers, yes. Drive ability. Oh, why did I do that? I rushed out without heat shields again. Son of a bitch. <sighs> the big shiny things are always my weakness. Damn it. Okay. Anyway. So, good news. Oh, kind of. You get there. Now you come apart. You, you're gone. Also, all of you guys. Actually, screw it. You're all dead. All gone. Structural. Don't need structural. Payload. Um, thermal? Nothing under thermal or electrical. I can't send anything back. So this is under science. Log temperature. Okay. Could be a nice, cheap, easy science thingy, maybe? We'll see. Okay. So, I do fuel tanks. Two, three, give me some actual fuel tanks, which is lovely. Where's my rockets and johns? Beautiful lines. lighter but I don't care about that the thrust this one has less yeah so we'll go with the bigger engine and it has uh, more vectoring which means I can control it to go left to right build an x-wing uh, so I've tried to do vertical takeoff before or horizontal takeoff it's really hard at least for me it was I was dreadful Absolutely dreadful. So there's that. This guy is going to go a lot further. Let me zoom out. So um, let's get some aerodynamics. Nothing really new about this. Use your own risk. So we will do three of you. On that. Okay. Now, what I want is radio decouplers. So, what this will allow me to do is put things staging wise on the sides. So, I can do this, elevate this up, and then put me some more of those big boy rockets as such. Nope, I don't think they're on the decouplers. There we go, that is on decouplers. Wait. Okay, so. The way this is going to work is I need to put the decoupler. Oh. -oh. Need to put another stage before the decouplers. So these are going to be my primary lift off. Um, they won't give me a whole lot of speed because there's a whole lot of weight. But up in the higher atmosphere, this guy should kick off. Gonna be a little more speed before I have to go to my liquid fuel. I have no heat shield, so that's not going to do. So I'm trying to do this without any mods. Uh, 
oddball. Because this is a really weird looking one. Um, so I'm going to try it without mods. It's the whole game plan. Um, after this, oh god, I can already tell it's not stable at all. Holy shit, this is going to be awesome. By awesome, I mean good, dreadful. So here is this. Oh, all together decent. So far, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. And yet, this guy's down here just chilling, not caring. That's going really well. Oh, here it comes. For the finale. Bye, Jebediah. I zoomed out for everyone's ears because that gets really loud. <laughs> so, let's go back to assembly, shall we? <laughs> yeah, it's like a carnival ride with as much of that thing's flipping. So, hopefully, adding this will A, not put me over the limit, B, yep, over the limit. How many pieces? Three over. Let's take this off. And let's go for it. What the hell, might as well. Let roll. Yeah, it's moving around, that's... No bueno. Oh, oh, forgot to turn that on. Don't think it really matters, those are set wings. Yeah, it's going much better this time. Much, much better. I'm gonna actually be able to get this thing into orbit this time. So that's odd. Oh yeah, those decouplers are not working properly. So, um, let's see what's going on here. I'm already way past what I really want to be. This is solid rocket fuel, so you can't turn it on or off or throttle it. So all I can try to do is angle a little bit. So I'm not dead center. Let's do that. That should be expanding me out a little bit. Okay. So, open some. So, okay. At this point, let's go ahead and do one of these research dudes. We're going to uh, keep it and hope to actually get it back this time. And there's a, this little dude. Log temperature. Hey, sweet. That capped, right? Okay, sweet. Okay. I should have done that on the um, atmosphere. And there's that space junk. Okay. So anyway. Going to fast forward a little bit to get to this point. That's really my next point of interest. Right about there. Okay. So. Now I'm here. I need to correct the ship over to right there. This is, uh, they call it SAS. It's autopilot, really. But, and let's see what I can do. I have a lot of fuel now, so I may actually be able to do this. Also, hopefully by getting it to orbit, I can decelerate it in a way that will allow me to easily enter the atmosphere. Halfway. Yeah, so I totally need to pull up a little bit. Relock. Okay, and got it.
So at this point, I can actually put the sucker on loop and we are actually in orbit. Okay, so that was really my first milestone of what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure I could get something in orbit. Now that we got him in orbit, let's get him out. So at the lowest point, if I go against my velocity, I should slow down and drop in. But actually slowing down at the bottom here would actually bring in my furthest point. So if I do it from here, that'll come back in. And with any luck, that will also be my slowest point of entry. Let's see how that goes. So we'll fast forward a little bit more there. Okay. Oh shit, not that much. Fast forward on this a little touchy sometimes. There we go. Nope. A little closer. A little closer. Come on, damn it. Get there. All right, there we go. Close enough. Anyway, there's that. So that one actually has the X on it. That's what I'm looking for. So you'll see that one has an X. The other one does not. That's the way I'm heading. And this one's the way I'm going. And I don't know what those necessarily are. So by doing this, locking in right there, and accelerating, hopefully I just, yes, perfect. Accelerate just enough to, oof, get this guy back into orbit. Or back into the atmosphere. Yeah, already. Oh, and, 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 yep. Okay, so, I have to do some stuff in lower orbit. Because I was a dummy and didn't get a heat shield. So while I like this guy, don't need him right now. Okay. Let's do a new design. A little simpler. We will... So the way the science also works is the more you do a certain science in a certain range, the, least, the less return you get. So odds are after this trip, I will not get anything for in atmosphere for those mystery goos. But it'll hopefully get me where I need. I don't know what the temperature will do, so we're just going to go with it. Um, it's not under aerodynamic, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, I know that's just a cone. Uh, coupling, structural, command control engines, fuel tanks, pods. Why can I not... Utility. Utility. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jebediah got roasted like a marshmallow that last round. So, I'm going to just do one of these. Make a really small, simple rocket here. One of you. Get this guy. Actually, I'm going to pull that off real quick. We're going to couple. Put a coupler on that. You there, put another coupler, and then just do a solid booster. Oh. Through the floor. I don't like that. There. Really odd looking, but will work. Um, let's get some fins on this guy. That's really weird looking. There we go. Anyway, that'll be enough. Um, low orbits. 
That's all it's designed to do. Get me up there a little bit. Get me a little bit of goods. And get back out. However, that is not the right staging. Uh, that is not the right staging at all. Okay, there we go. So, it's off with that. Wanting to try to do this. On take off. Not a whole lot of signs. But we'll keep it. Look at the goo. Next to no signs. Holy well, crap, not doing that. That's in the uh, blue. Ah, it's the sub there, Vespa. Okay, observe here. Still crappy, so we'll reset it again. The thin atmosphere right there. There's the goo. Even lower, or even worse. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Log temperature. Override. Yeah, that's better. Give me a little bit of that. Reset the goo. Observe the goo. Okay, so. Fast forward. Gonna go up and then back down. There. It says orbit, so let's see. There we go. Okay. So now, I actually have my engines to help get back down. And actually, hold on. In orbit, this might be better. Yes. Okay. There we go. So now. Fast forward a little bit. Coming back in. Okay. Go a little quicker. Dropping back just how we got in. Oh! I hit space bar. However, that worked. I accidentally um, hit my next staging rather than slowing down the engines. But, got the data back. That's all I care about. And it's coming in nice and fucking slow. I really wish there was a way to just say, okay, we know you've landed, just land. Okay. American Station. You. Cover. 19 science. That's what I needed, I think. So. If we go here. 15 is all I needed. Okay. There we got heat shields. There we go. Now I'm good. Basic science. What do we got here? Fuck no, it's just satellites, rechargeable batteries, ah, science kits. Okay. That's for a little bit more advanced stuff. I like it. Okay, so at this point I have the basics. I can now How much does a new pad cost? Just curious. Yeah, okay. 
Arrows needed none. Okay. So anyway. Now I can actually do a heat shield on stuff, which I've never done. So I don't know how that works. Let's zoom in and see what happens here if I do. Yeah. But I do something like this. Ah, fuck it. Let's give it a shot real quick. I don't care about you. Let's load in. Don't save. Um, oddball. Okay, so let's take that off. Let's put on the bigger heat shield. And I'm one piece over. Are you effing serious? Oh, hold on. You're gone. Okay. Let's give it a go. No clue this is going to work to get me back in. So totally not making it all the way. So what I'm going to do is hit my research at the peak. There. Okay. Mr. Goo. Even more than last time. And that will give me less than it actually says. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is fast forward, get this guy back into Earth, which is super dark. Okay. Get rid of that now. Now, I think in hindsight, I probably have this heat shield backwards. And I think it's going to bite me in the ass. Bite me right in the ass. Well, let's log the experiment just to... Oh, there it went. Doesn't matter. 
Yes, so. Heat shield under. Under. However, it's holding up. Made it. Okay, that works. So, uh, Jebediah didn't die. But I lost fucking everything. <sighs> Alright. So, lesson learned. Absolutely have to have heat shield underneath. Or maybe even just completely encompassing. But that did not work. That looks really stupid. Alright, so. Get this to the tracking station. Let's redeem this, see if I get anything. Five signs, whoops. Alright, so. That's going to be all I do in this episode. Next episode, what I'm going to try to do is update my Kerbal so I can start getting them on spacewalks and launching them into their own little orbits. As well as seeing if I can... Um, actually finish up some research and actually get into the same orbit as the moon. If I can pull that off, then hopefully in another episode or two, I should be able to land. And if that all goes smooth, we'll see how long it takes for me to get back. But that's all we're going to do on this one today. So catch you next week for the Earth side of the moon. Tomorrow, we will be doing our first ever lost and found. So, um, be able to jump on 7 o'clock tomorrow and see some random ass game that none of us have ever played. So, next time. Game on.